Well, in the words of one wise CTV News anchor, basketball fans were treated to a real pee picker on the high school hardwood last night. A rematch between the top two AAA teams in Victoria, Oak Bay versus Mount Doug. Bays went looking for revenge in Gordon Head. Now, to fully understand the magnitude of this game, we take you back to January 16th when Oak Bay thinks they've won it on a buzzer beater from Kaz Kobayashi. They put another one on the clock. But Elliot Rowe sinks a buzzer beater of his own. So Mount Doug won that game. So coming home last night, you had to like their chances. Great crowd. The place was packed with those needing to feed their hunger for the hardwood. Elliot Rowe's three ball got the Rams off on the right foot. But Oak Bay had a seven-point lead at the half. Fourth quarter, Kaz Kobayashi's leaner falls. Eight-point lead for the Bays. Then Kobayashi again, dangerous, taking it to the rack, laying it in with the right hand. Oak Bay led 68-48. 58. Mount Doug, though, not about to roll over. Thanks to Elliott Rowe, the Nash-like twisting lay-in. He cut the lead to eight. Then final minute, Bays by six. Rowe steals the ball. He heads up floor. And drainage, another triple. It's 68-65 as the gym goes crazy. Now he had a 22-point game. Oak Bay puts it away, though, in the final seconds on a three-pointer. That's Matt Hampton. Nail in the coffin as Oak Bay gets sweet revenge. 73-69, the final. Justin Bieber didn't seem to like that very much, Hudson. <laughs> that was an exciting game. I mean, that was a, that last 57 seconds was... Uh, Oak Bay, uh, you know, came on strong. Maybe uh, the Rams shouldn't have pressed in that last minute or they so. They will meet but... again. Yeah, great yeah. basketball. Well, one and one. Is so that what I look like eating, by the way? <laughs> Jamming <laughs> as much popcorn into my mouth. Hey, we just mouthful? won't tell your personal trainer. Yeah, How's that? There, there you go. <laughs> that was dinner, by the way. So Perfect. That's All right, my thank you. You're welcome. All right, time for sports. Myra's here with that. My. Well, Hudson, they are parting between the sheets this week in Parksville as the Parksville Curling Club plays host to the CDI Men's Provincial Curling Championships. 16 of the best shot makers in the province have advanced to represent their zone at the tournament, but from here, only one team will be booking their ticket to Saskatoon as the BC rep at the Tim Hortons Briar. The Oceanside Curling community certainly knows how to rock the house. This is the third provincial championship they've hosted, but it is the first time that BC's Briar representatives will be determined on this pebbled ice. And this ice makes the 2010 BC Men's Curling Championship unique. The Parksville Curling Club is the only rink in the province with arena ice. The building is a converted hockey arena, so there is plenty of room for spectators. That's handy this week. Just be sure to dress warm. With 16 teams, there will be plenty of draws between now and Sunday's final. It used to be a 10-team tournament and they played a round robin. Um, so at the end of the week you might have teams that were out of it and playing really for nothing. Um, this way it's 16 teams, triple knockout, um, so you're getting your best teams out. They, after you qualify in the triple knockout, you go on to play in a, in a playoff round as well. There are some serious players in Parksville, including two-time defending champion Jim Cotter from Kelowna. I'd say the Cotter rink is, as defending champion is, is the one to watch, but also the Pierce rink, which uh, was the lady, uh, leading uh, points uh, total uh, uh, group, and so that uh, they would be another favourite. Parksville is just the perfect host for this event. To have it in a small community like this, uh, it has so much community support. Uh, the, the building's all decorated up, and they've done an amazing job here in Parksville of hosting it. So it's great for the community, and it's also great for the spectators to come to a fabulous place like this. More good news. The Keshta Van Osh rink was 1-1 one one today at the Junior National Curling Championships in Napanee, Ontario. They are now 7-2. Tied for top spot Hudson tomorrow. They face Saskatchewan. All right. Great curling. Mm -hmm. All right, my thank you. You're welcome.